This is part two of my building a CNC shop video. Uh, previously, I posted a video uh, showing my transformation from moving to the garage that I was in into the new shop. Uh, but this is the second part showing uh, me totally moved in with everything in place. Um, it's a 20 by 20 shop. It's not that big and I found out that 20 by 20 is actually quite small uh, when all things considered with the amount of equipment that I've put in here. But with that said, uh, most of my stuff is on casters and it's movable which makes things really, really easy when I'm in here. I can just move stuff around as I need it. So let me give you a, a little tour of what it looks like now. So this thing kind of went as planned pretty much. Um, we're facing the garage door from the inside. Uh, you can recall that from the last video. Uh, I've just got some things on casters. I've got a Rockler tool stand where I keep a lot of my clamps and just some miscellaneous items. Um, one of the major things that I just ate, added right now is this new Viper chair. Oh my gosh, it is great. Um, they are pricey, but it's quite worth it. It's so comfortable as far as uh, sitting on it and moving around those casters on there. You can pretty much go anywhere and scoot yourself around uh, a lot better than your typical uh, just like shop chairs that you find on like uh, the internet. Um, there's my belt sander or drum sander, excuse me. I have it lined up against the uh, uh, garage door and when I need it, I move it out and, and use it accordingly. My Craig clamping table is next to my brand new uh, Avid CNC machine. Uh, you can check out uh, the Avid CNC machine uh, and my build of it uh, in the videos. It's a three-part series uh, indicated here. So, and then it's controlled by Mach 4, uh, which is run on, wind on a Windows PC, and I have that sitting on a cart next to it. I also mirror Mach 4 on a big screen TV for my aging eyes, so I can see it there. Next to my Avid CNC is my uh, Axiom Pro, which I use for some very specific tooling and some laser operations. It's not going anywhere. It's staying right here in the shop. And uh, as planned, my uh, dust collector is uh, over here in the corner next to the um, air compressor. And I did make an air, another air filter for the shop. Uh, I modeled that one after Jay Bates. Jay Bates has one that's very similar to this. I didn't use four sides for my filters. I just used two with a little toggle switch to turn it on and off. It's a two speed motor, uh, high and a low speed. Um, yep, air compressor in the back. Uh, drill press, I uh, had to move over to here. I originally spec'd it out as being on one of the other walls, but this turned out to be the best spot for it. I also built a manifold system for my dust collector. My dust collector is a Laguna C Flux one, and I have one uh, actually two ports coming out of it and one uh, goes directly down to this auxiliary uh, uh, blast gate which I can open up when I need to and that runs to this general purpose uh, vacuuming uh, attachment on the end of that hose that I can go around and clean stuff up in the shop and the rest of the manifold one of the other feed goes down to a Y connector which feeds uh, two other blast gates one going to my Axiom machine and one going to my Avid machine so uh, only three of them uh, for right now. That's all I need. So I can take that au uh, auxiliary one and actually run it over to, I'll show you, uh, over to here to this port uh, on the outfeed table, which uh, basically goes up underneath and connects to the table saw. So whenever I'm running the table saw, I just use the auxiliary port on the uh, manifold. And it's really cool whenever I want to uh, switch tools or whatever, I just simply close off one and open the other. And then that opens up the dust collection for that particular tool. So really cool stuff. Um, just some uh, organizing uh, cabinets there and some pegboard up on the wall with a whole bunch of parts bins. And there's, um, I left the old red toolbox in the old garage because I did need tools over there and I bought this bench with a whole bunch of drawers uh, for, for tools as well. And there's hanging cabinets there for a lot of my stuff. And the outfeed table and the table saw are right in the middle of the shop where I intended them, intended them on being. And then I also purchased another cabinet for the shop um, from Home Depot, a Husky 36-inch uh, wide cabinet, uh, which uh, holds a lot of supply and stuff in it. And there's my planer. I just set the planer over uh, along that wall. It's also on casters. 
and I kept one of the racks, like I said in the first video, and that's primarily used to store all my wood. Uh, my sheet goods and stuff are still over in the other garage, but all my small stuff is over here where I can just access it real quickly. So yeah, guys, that's, that's the shop update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you on board. Uh, be sure to hit the little bell icon to be notified when I post new content. I do post uh, CNC content uh, occasionally. Not, it's not regularly. My, my schedule's pretty busy, so I'm not able to push out the video stuff as often as I would like to. Uh, but, but when I do, it's, it's pretty good content. And if you want to see it, just hit that little bell icon. So y'all take care now.